Hey there, simplifiers. Welcome back to Organizing with Simple Solutions, where today we're going to talk about organizing your kids' toys, and more specifically, how to label the storage for your kids' toys so that they can put their toys away and find the toys when they want to play with them the next time. If your kids are anything like mine, you answer the question, Mom, where is my insert toy about a thousand times a day? And one thing that I continually try to reiterate to both my kids and the families that I work with is that if you put something back in its home, you'll be able to find it the next time you need it. And that applies to bills, it applies to shoes, and it especially applies to toys. So today I'm going to show you how to make these really cool index card size picture labels to go on your toy storage. And first I want to talk to you a little bit about the label holders that I use. They're from a company called Smead and it's a vinyl file pocket and you can see here that they are self-adhesive. They peel away from the um, paper there. And you can stick them on anything that is plastic. I have used them on things like canvas bins or wood bins. I find that they don't stick quite as well. But most of the toy storage that I typically deal with and in most toy rooms that I work in is going to be plastic. So these work great for that. And these that I'm using today are the 3x5 index card size. They also come in business card size for smaller bins or 4x6 size which is great if you don't want to go through the trouble of making these index card size labels but you just want to take a picture of what's in that bin and then slide that four by six picture down into the label and all sizes of these vinyl pockets are available on Amazon and I'll be sure to put a link below for you if you want to check them out and order them for yourself they usually come in packs of a hundred for around twenty dollars the price can vary but check them out if you really think that these label holders would be something that would be helpful for your toy storage and now for the fun part, making the picture labels on the index cards that go in. I personally use Microsoft Word to create the labels both for my kids and for my clients. It's just a really easy program, but if you are a whiz at something like Photoshop, you are more than welcome to use a graphics program. I just like to keep things nice and simple and basic. The first thing you're going to want to do after you've created a new document and saved it under the name that you want to save it is to resize the document to the size card that you're using. Like I said, I'm using 3x5 cards, so I've created a custom sized paper that three by five and then I'm gonna pop over to the margins tab so that I can make sure that it's printing landscape as opposed to portrait because I want to make sure that the pictures and the printing is going to go long ways as opposed to vertically the next thing I do is pop over to Amazon because I can usually find any toys that I'm looking for there. You can use Walmart, you can use Toys R Us, any site that you like. Like I said, I just like Amazon because I know that I can find pretty much every toy that I need there. And then I search for the toy that I'm looking for. So today I'm making labels for Transformers and Hot Wheels cars because those are the bins that I'm labeling in my kids' rooms. So once I find a picture that I like for the label, I click on it to enlarge the picture and then I right click on it and copy that picture to use on my label. Then I go back to my Word document and paste that picture in there. You'll notice if you're using the latest version of Microsoft Word that there's a couple of different paste options and the one that you're going to want to use is the one on the right side with the little picture down in the corner. That means you're going to paste the most recent picture that you copied. The next step that I take is to format the picture so that it's not in line with the text because that makes it hard for me to center it on the page or if I want to make it a little bit bigger I might be cutting some of the picture off. I typically choose in front of text to float the picture somewhere on the page so that I can move it around and resize it to the size I need and if you did want to resize the picture make it a little bit bigger or smaller to fit on your card you can go to the size section here and then click to make it whatever size you think would work best for your label once you've resized the picture and make sure that it's centered the way that you want you can pop over to the print side and see that you like the way that it looks on your index card and if you're ready to go load those index cards into the printer and go ahead and print
Once your labels have printed, you can just slide them into the pocket like so. And if your kids happen to grow out of Transformers and Hot Wheels cars or whatever you are putting in your bins, you can just go back through these steps and add whatever picture will go in that bin next. These picture labels are really great if you've got non-readers in the house or if you've got kids that are learning to read, you could always throw some words on here so that not only are they seeing the pictures of the Transformers, but they are also seeing the words that are associated with that toy. So tell me, do you have a great way that you like to label your kids' toys so that they both put them away where they're supposed to go and can find them the next time that they need them? If so, please comment below and let me know how you organize your kids' toys. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my organizing and simplifying tips for you and your family. Take care, happy organizing, and I'll catch you next time on Organizing with Simple Solutions. Once your cards have printed, they just slide easily into these holders that we talked about earlier.